Tooth decay can be prevented. A degenerative condition resulting in enamel breakdown of the tooth is called tooth decay. Tooth decay can be prevented easily with using good oral health habits. Millions of people are affected by tooth decay as a result of poor oral hygiene or bad dietary choices. Many foods we eat include starches and sugars. If these are left in the mouth, plaque forms on teeth combining with bacteria and producing acids damaging to the enamel and causing tooth decay. To promote the best oral hygiene and the avoidance of tooth decay, it's essential to maintain proper nutrition and a healthy diet. Drinks and food high in starches and sugars are prone to forming acids that attack the enamel that results in decay. Limiting these drinks and foods that have high sugar content and carbonation will help in the prevention of tooth decay and improve oral hygiene. Tooth decay prevention. Some of the best habits to form in the prevention of tooth decay are brushing twice daily at least, maintaining a diet of healthy, nutritious food, flossing daily, removing debris between the teeth, avoiding snacks with high sugar content, visiting a dentist for cleanings and regular checkups, using mouth rinse to reduce plaque buildup, and having dental sealants put on back teeth. Everyone has bacteria in their mouth and is susceptible to acids breaking down enamel that open the door for tooth decay. But tooth decay can be prevented. Many people get nervous during and before visiting the dentist and make it a more difficult experience. Take steps to limit anxiety by explaining fears to your dentist. If you feel that dental techniques alone won't help, check out available options for dealing with dental anxiety. Tooth Decay Treatment of course, the treatment depends on how far the tooth decay has progressed. Tooth decay can be prevented by flossing and brushing with fluoride toothpaste or receiving treatments of fluoride at the dentist that might be enough to reverse decay before cavities can form. Tooth destruction that is associated with decay leads to development of holes, commonly known as cavities. Tooth decay doesn't have symptoms until a cavity forms. Then the symptom is a toothache. If a cavity forms, you'll need a filling, a material to plug the hole and restore the tooth to original shape after the decay is removed by the dentist. If severely decayed and badly damaged, you're going to need a crown, sometimes called a cap. It's a replacement for part or the entire tooth. Sometimes a crown is used to cover a broken or badly decayed tooth when fillings won't work. Root canal procedures. If the pulp of the tooth gets infected, you might require a root canal, removing the pulp that is diseased. In case the root is severely damaged on the tooth, you may need to have an extraction performed. If you have an extraction, then it may need to have an implant or bridge put in. If tooth decay is not treated, cavities can get so bad that you lose your teeth. Waiting too long to see your dentist will cost more and might take longer.